hello welcome back so we are continuing the abloma vlog of potakot nigeria from the oba school where we stopped here so let's move forward so this is the market just a little traffic here just a very very small 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 one small one a tiny one so if you're not in nigeria and you don't know what a kekena pep is that is this vehicle in front of me now and it is the most affordable because motorbikes have been banned in most places this is like the easiest way we move around so the name of the market the signboard said sada to central market tere ama kala ogologoma kingdom ogolo ogoloma kingdom sorry not ogologoma ogoloma kingdom Sada to is that not Sada to that's Sada to now Central Market. Sada to is on house name too. I don't know the relation between both of them. I'm just showing you somebody selling fresh tomato by the roadside, and this market is kind of eaty. I'm not going to say it. You can see for yourself everywhere is just in yama yama. <laughs> and the use of commercial bikes is prohibited in butter cuts, at least in the city. So, this kekena pep is like a bike with a bus on top, <laughs> and it carries four <coughs> it carries four passengers. See how everybody is hustling. These guys, they stay on the main road and fix potholes, and then beg people that are passing by for money. Can you see the like there are so many youths in nigeria that have so much energy so much to give but guys this system will frustrate the hell out of you if you start a business like it will knock you knock you knock you even like in river state the unnamed tax collectors that disturb we that have small businesses here before I come back to that gist, I was curious about these kids because I felt it was still drizzling, but the rain just stopped, so I don't know what they are trying to do. I tried to zoom in on their signboard. I don't know what they are trying to do. As I said, you will see their school name or part of their school name and their uniform is cute. <laughs> I can only see Terama and something model school. I'm sorry guys I couldn't get the whole of it but that is it and still trying to zoom <laughs> despite the distance so as I was saying like when I am in my store you will just see like a vehicle with five people and they will just stop carrying piece of paper with one unrecognizable ID card and they will be like we are from the local government you are supposed to pay this 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 and some of those ones are like mean talks before you even open your mouth to say anything they are jacking they are like they will just pick things from your shop and throw into their vehicle leave you with the phone number and be like when you bring the money you come and pick your things like when i started my business newly in portaco these people made me cry several times they would come different groups different groups different groups oh my god but luckily for us there was a time the governor now banned he was like no group should collect anything for a while then after a while i think they just resumed and they started disturbing us again so you cannot even do your business in peace and you cannot even you would pay your tax you would pay like the confirm the verified ones at the local government or when those ones come we kind of know then they would give you receipt but then another set will come and tell you those receipts are fake those group are not supposed to be in charge of this area guys i don't want to rant about this but that's just some of the struggles with like running a business a small business in nigeria i don't know for big businesses if there are a way to prevent all this nonsense but <sighs> we move we move we are used to keep pushing and managing very stupid attitude that we have we like managing and just enduring you endure until your enemy will push your head aside ground please here we are we safe mm, we are just on the road now <laughs> we keep going and we keep moving is there no landmark here i have not seen anything really really interesting is that a church? Yes, that's a church. 
deeper life you saw that i tried i'll i'll wait i need to pronounce the name of that filling station because i liked it it's like an arabian perfume type of name like al something al amin <laughs> al amin filling station i just like the sound of that and we keep going we are driving yeah we are preaching okay the federal government college i think is around here abloma that's their signboard to the left and there is this bole woman that i like her bole around here so i'm going to stop and just get myself some quick meal just a quick 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 chopping so her shop is around here if you want to see what street like roadside bole this is our street food in water court good afternoon hope you don't mind sorry every day you're gonna eh people are not the water court they find now i want two ripe plants i want it Nigeria don't No, no, give me big one. This is 200, right? <laughs> so you fry your fish perfectly. It's in no bone. I mean, let me roast. I want yam of 200. Yeah, 200. Yes. 100 naira, 100 naira. Mm -hmm. Don't balance. Please, two, where, where? Okay, no, I don't stand here. I don't stand here. Yeah, you tell me what I'm going to do and say, I'm going to do it. Oh, my God, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know, so they think they bought where well, well. Oh, no bun at all. Just fresh. When the old man stopped, one day to meet you. Where is that? It's not to my friend. I don't know, I'm trying to apply. I'm going to stop the bun. I'm going to stop the bun. Too fresh. Thank you. If you felt like eating that good for you, then you understand. If you're talking about hygiene, you're on your own. It's street food. So, <laughs> this is Sotel. Sotel. Sotel School. Sotel. S O T E L. Sotel School. And, well, these are just. You know, you know. So we keep going. Better Life Glorious Ministries. Mm -hmm. And We are approaching the end of Abiloma. So this is a residential area. But most residential areas that have like a quite busy main road always have stores around. So this is like a junction not a roundabout it's just a junction and it's like okuru not okuru roundabout okuru road i don't know what to call it but that's like a yeah a junction oh that's a police station down that side that's a police station and now we are going to what's that uh Tammy Willis, oh, I'm sorry, couldn't read it, but it's an education center, and 
We are moving. So this is called Okuruma Road. Okuruma Road. But I've always known here as Okuru, so I didn't know that was like a shorter form or I don't know if they mean the same thing, but I am used to Okuru, like Okuru Roundabout, Okuru Road. But on Google Map, I saw Okuruma, so I am just marrying both of them for you to see. This is the Abloma or Okuruma Roundabout. I don't know for sure. I am going to zoom in on the signboard so that we can know where we are. And it says community secondary school Okuruma Okuruma Porta Court. Again, I don't want this vlog to be too long. So let's continue in the next video for me. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs>